Alright, so the OC Remix streaming thing was just too annoying. So this is just the entire whole um, Balance and Ruin remix of like every single track in Final Fantasy VI. It's gargantuan. I'll, I'll throw some reference of that whole thing in there. It's by a whole bunch of different artists, so uh, I'll just put it in the description. Um, so yeah, this was actually a lot easier than it seemed to go ahead and grind up. So once you have the candies converter, uh, so let me show you what I did. Uh, if you go through this underwater cave, uh, it's basically free at this point now. I do have to wait about 60 seconds each time, but um, you'll see in a second here. I get about a thousand candies for each run, which is still quite a lot for me. It uh, doesn't give me any new inventory items, but yeah, once we kill this whale, we get about yeah, about 5,000 candy, 500 candies, and yeah, we got about yeah 90 seconds to wait. And so I got some candies from the candies converter. The candies converter starts out slow and gets faster and faster. So I planted, you know, about a thousand, once you plant a thousand, a thousand lollipops, you get lollipops per second. So now what we really need here is, um, this is the opening theme, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the remix of the opening theme. Uh, I just started on the first track. It's just going to be easier to reference. Oh, 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 one thing I forgot to show. Look, look how glorious our sword of flames is. Flames. Beautiful. Level one. Oh, oh, I remember. Okay. So yeah, we have plenty of candies to do something at the cauldron. Let's see, a seed. Oh yeah, l l some of these potions are pretty funny. So Superman potion. This potion will transform you into Superman, providing you a fantastic cape. Some people say this isn't useful. We'd respond to them that it's just so cool. Anyway, how to make one, blah to do. Think about Superman. Think once again. Put it into bottle. You're done. Uh, Superman does nothing except change your, what your character looks like. So all you need to make is Gmoo Potion. Get me out of here. Critical situations, we already read that. So, this one's a pretty simple one. Exactly 10,000 candies. First, put in your cauldron a base quantity of 10,000. Then add 500 for each one you brought to brew. Let me just double check. 500. I think I can just brew a whole ton at once. Yeah, let me just make 10. Mix a little bit. Put everything into bottles. Give me 10, get me out of here potions. Alright. Let's go to the peaceful forest. Get me out of here. 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 The desert! So there's, there's a few secret locations you can travel to. Most commonly, you get the Peaceful Forest. Uh, it is, despite what the thing says, it's pretty much always safe. The sea! Look how happy he is in that boat. I'll, I will cry if that was not enough. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna actually save in case I get really unlucky. I, it's never taken me, like... Wait, what is that? What is that? Whoopee, what was that? It was only on screen for like one frame. Well, it's dead now. Okay. Get me out of here, the desert. There we go, the cow level. Earthquake scroll! See, so yeah, the cow- the earthquake scroll damages the cows so that you'll kill them instantly. Uh, at the very end, there's a cow king, which is actually a fight. Yeah, the, wait, what the? I think that was the Cow King we fought, just... I think that was the one with health left. You should all have zero health because of the Earthquake Scroll. I'll be ready to heal in case one of them isn't, though. Okay, now we got it. The Cow level. I believe that's that's a reference to a Diablo thing, right? Um, I'm not sure if you saw it, but yeah, we got the Horn of Plenty! Stolen from Plutus the Cow King, who thought it was a real horn. This is the mythic object will allow you to multiply your lollipop farm production by three. So that's pretty good. So now we get, um... Wait, what? I thought I already had three... for a second. Or I thought I already had eight for a second. Oh, it, it is... it is multiplied by three when I earn them, but it's not over here. Alright. So at this point... 
At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm okay to tackle the Forest Keep, or the Castle Keep. Unfortunately, under a bit of a real-life time limit, so I can, I'm just gonna do one attempt at this. There's a bunch of different rooms in here, and depending on which room you want to do different things, that was just a bunch of guards. Um, oh, that one's a, this is actually a pretty annoying room. Um, some fairly tough enemies. Uh oh. Um, this is a walled in zombie. So, if we end up in a room full of ghosts. I found an aim. Oh, it's a fireball. Uh oh. I should have gotten some greater healing potions. I think I can make those at some point. Oh no, th that was the room that I needed the, the healing potions for. Um. I just want to be super strong, or super secure, that I can beat this. No! Aw, oh, man. Wait, don't I have any invincibility scrolls or something? I don't think we could keep that amulet, either. No, that, that amulet we got there was actually a really lucky break, except we couldn't beat the dragon. I need better healing potions, so... Let me look up. I think there's something in here. Healing potion, turtle potion, or vulnerability. Oh, right, it's an invulnerability potion that I need. Um, invincibility. Let me just double check if I can make multiple ones. I'm pretty sure I can. Invincibility potion. Alright, yes, yeah, so we want. I guess I'll just make three of them, so... Yeah, 6,000. Mix until your arms hurt. Do my arms hurt yet? It'll actually eventually say something in the... over here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of major health potions. Wait, or do I need minor? 50 health. No, minor is the health potions I already have that only heal 50. Those those are pretty useless at this point. A major health point gives me 100. And since we have a cooldown on potions, I actually really need the uh, better ones. Yeah, so I need... You only need 100 candy... Oh, you need 100 candies and lollipops. So this is the point where you really need lollipops to make the cauldron stuff. Did my arms not hurt yet? It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, the actual time for mixing is 60 seconds, alright. Mixing... Too much mixing, your arms are hurting. Stop. Get everything into bottles. Three invulnerability potions. How many major health potions can I make? Mixing forcefully while you're mixing. Okay, let me let me read this major one again. Major health potion, a bit hard to make, it's more efficient. Hundred lollipops. Okay, so I can make ten by just doing a thousand. Yeah. Let's just make ten at once, I guess. Mix forcefully. Add another ten. Stop mixing after twenty. So at this point, the game's pretty open, and you need to use your potions to make sure you get through stuff. You're not going to be able to beat stuff by brute force or just healing. I made three every... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I just wasted... What do you mean? Wait, I think I read this wrong. What? No? 100... You can... Oh gosh dang it, the first one was lollipops. So I need to add a thousand lollipops. Start mixing one thousand candies with that in the cauldron. And now stop after 20. The, 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 they're deliberately a bit picky with what you can do with the uh, things. Unfortunately I need to get started for stream after I finish these potions, but we should be able to kill the dragon next time. Assuming we get a good... Like I said, the, the, the stuff for that, the keep, is actually pretty random. 
and we can keep eating, but you get diminishing returns from with health from eating more stuff. But we're getting pretty close to being able to use the sorceress's um, magic. It's quite good, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump all my lollipops into my lollipop farm, so now I get crazy lollipops per second. And uh, actually, I think 10 lollipops per second is the fastest you can get them. So let's just, before I even start anything, or before I leave, let's just go ahead and get up to that, shall we? Take too long. Music. Oh, come on, VLC! Oh, I hate you, VLC. So VLC does this thing where, like, I tell it to play, like, 10 tracks, and it's like, I I'll play one. I, I don't know. I don't know, Rick! I, I think I should just play one track. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty bad media player, actually. Uh... See, I think 100. Yeah, so we're now at the maximum lollipops per second. See, I'm just gonna leave this to idle while I do some other stuff, and then I'll come back. Oh, oh, and let me show you. Um, thanks for... Uh, when you buy an individual lollipop, he gives you a specific flavor. So yeah, here's a cookie flavor lollipop. Here's a snow flavor lollipop. Here's your Lichid flavored lollipop. Your Corrigan. Banana. Snow. Storm. Snow. Tomato. Love flavor lollipop. Here's your cash. <laughs> Wait, here's your causality flavor lollipop. Water flavor lollipop. Love. Gluttony flavored lollipop. Storm lollipop. Aw, I ran out. <laughs> It, my favorite one is the door flavored lollipop. That one, that one is the best. Yeah, I'll be back once we've waited up some. We should definitely be able to buy the more candies upgrade real soon. But yeah, stay tuned for more candies and possibly more boxes. And one live stream later, I have slightly increased number of lollipops. I'm actually still gaining candies at the same rate though. Which uh, we'll, we'll be able to fix pretty soon. So yeah, we have... That's actually 3 million lollipops. Let's go to the Sources Hut. Candies, faster candies. Congratulations, you'll now gain more candies per second. I mean, now you, oh, it's just 2 per second, but whatever. Still better. Uh, let's go to this. You have no more sweets to give me. It's a real pleasure to play with you. Yeah, we can't do anything at these anymore. Go to the Sources Hut. Uh, Candies, faster candies. Uh, sword, better sword. How many? I don't know how many I have. I still have three million, so yeah. Uh, more candies. Oh, dang, that is bad. Faster candies, definitely. Because the more candies is just her giving you candies. Um, all right, I was supposed to have music. Um, how do I get VLC Media Player to, like, actually play more than one song? Like, I just select all of them, you know, 18 items selected, play with VLC Media Player. Uh, yep, as you can see... Oh man, that's loud. Um... This is Balance and Ruin. I have no idea which song this started on. Oh hey, skipping actually works now. Okay. So this is... Kefka. Um, no, candies, faster candies, better sword. It keeps flooping around the options. Alright, how many? We still have a million. So, I sort of candy, fast candy. Yeah, sword level 5. I think you can get up to sword level 10, I want to say. Uh, let me go back to my. Quests, keep. I think we're ready for the quests. I, yeah, I think I have plenty. Wait, let's see if I can get a door. A Corrigan. What is a Corrigan? Corrigan. In Breton folklore, a Corrigan is a fairy or dwarf-like spirit. The word Corrigan means small dwarf. I would not eat that lollipop, to be quite honest. I guess we may as well spend all of our lollipops, because they only really do us good as- oh. Never mind, we don't really have any good thing to get with them. I'm not sure if I want to eat those candies or not. Let's save. Okay. 
Now we want to go to the Castle's Keep. Let's use a cheap health potion since we we have plenty of time. Did I just fight a wall? Troll. So anytime you have lots of spa like spare time. Oh, what? Itself? What? 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 Okay, so if you get the fireballs, you're just kind of doomed, or you have to chug an invincibility potion. Yeah, the the quest is or the the keep is totally random. Well, not totally random. Like some stuff is pretty preset. I don't think there's anything you can do like teleport. Nah. Oh, it's the unicorns! Watch watch what the last unicorn says. Uh, you saw it for like four seconds, but yeah. It was Charlie the Unicorn. It was missing a kidney. Well, it doesn't say Charlie the- Fireballs, come on! Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. Okay. I think you just have to chug an invincibility potion if you get the stupid fireballs. It's so hard to react in time. So what- I don't even know where the invincibility- okay, it's this one. Oh, and it's a potion. Oh, dang. Uh, we're, we're gonna chug the invincibility. <laughs> God! Alright, major healing potion, major healing potion. Where's- Oh, dang, that has a crazy potion countdown. The heck is that? Dominus Spidabooby? Okay. Oh, not this. Not this. I pressed the freaking invulnerability potion! Oh my god, what? Let me check this walkthrough if there's something I can do about fireballs. Yeah, it doesn't mention fireballs at all. Uh, what does it say about the castle keep then? If you reach the dragon without finding the unicorn horn, the amulet, then let him kill you. Refresh your browser without. Okay, so I have to find a horn or an amulet, according to this thing. Or at least, I want to. Let me put it that way. Yeah, what, what, what even was that? Like, a wall? Oh yeah, this part. Alright, so we got the amulet. I guess I just better be quick on the draw with this freaking invulnerability potion if we get the fireballs. Oh, dang it, that's not quite what I wanted, but that works too. Chests? Alright, major health potion. I wish you could slow down. You can't. Dragon? Let's see, uh... Invulnerability potion, go. Holy crap, what?! Whoa. Beat the dragon, you need to buy about five teleport scrolls, five seeds, and five invulnerability potions. Holy crap, okay. Uh, let's make some trees then. I forgot, I think teleport sends you back, so you can go back. And teleports. Let's just send him off to grind a bit. Um, no better sword yet. Uh, cauldron. Cloning potion. Superman seed. Yeah, we want seeds. Heat the water in your cauldron. Alright, so six five zero zeros stop. Wait. Heat the water. seed in a bottle. You made 10 seeds! Okay. Uh, I already have some teleport scrolls, right? Can I pick which scroll? No, it's totally random. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't go lollipops back into candies. Um... But 
think it actually wants me to have even more invulnerability, so let's just make 10 invulnerability potions. Jelly, no. Seed, cloning, turtle, invulnerability. Oh dang, I can only make four. You know what? How much health do I have? It was 148. Let's just see how much health I have after this. I'm gonna save. See, now we get eight candies every second, so that's our sort of progress. Oh dang, now I have 40 more health, not bad. Just drown a, down a potion there. <sighs> well, I can survive fireballs now. Oh, that was the room I was supposed to use the frickin' imp in. Good job. What the hell is this? No. Sorry. <laughs> No vocals. Um, this is still that Balance and Ruin thing. I was not expecting freaking vocals out of that. Um. See, I think Teleport sends you back. I probably should have done that a couple times. Doe? Knights are not actually too bad anymore. I think I can just barely handle that dragon with the health I have now. And the invulnerability potions. Imp! Yeah, whatever. Chests. Oh dang, lots of candies. Seed and a teleport. Seed. Oh right, with this, the the tree, the trees give you time to heal. I remember now. So it gives you time to do stuff like... I don't think I can summon an ink from here. It gives us time to basically, you know, refill our potions. Let's use another seed. All right, I remember how this works now. All right, we're, we're okay, we're okay. One more vulnerability potion should do it. Wait, actually, we didn't get the items we want. Gosh dang it. So the one time I actually get all the way through, I, I didn't get an item that I needed. Whatever, it's just how this tends to go. We'll be fine. So you can use the seed to stop yourself, which is actually really important. I guess let's pause ourselves and use a couple of healing potions. So I forgot the the, the, com the combat ends up being a lot more strategic than you might think because of your new abilities. But the, you have to use things in ways you probably wouldn't really think of on your own, to be quite honest. Okay, troll again. It's actually really bad. We we really want either that zombie between the two walls, empty room. The empty room is actually really bad. So I think this is going to be the dry. Oh wait, chests. The chests aren't very good either. We can either get a unicorn horn from the three unicorns, or we can get an amulet. Yeah, we don't- we actually... That's not good. I think you can grind this level, but I'm not 100% sure. I just want to be sure I get one of those two, so they increase your candies. I think. Uh, here we go. All right. So yeah, we got- they fought the zombie and we got an amulet. I get exactly what the amulet does, but it's very good. Let's pause, get a major healing potion. And the health potion would actually help the most if you have a ton of seeds so you can stop yourself and use them slowly. Like, I'll use a seed if I end up with too little health here. Which I think we should be alright. Calm, yeah. This wall actually hurts, yeah. So let's pause. I think it should be the dragon in the next room. And on occasion, you'll get- there's like a 1% chance that your tree will be an insanely tough tree called Yggdrasil, you know, Tree of Life, with like 10,000 health. You'll eventually whack it down, but uh, 
it's not quite what you want. See, so yeah, that's the strategy here. Just teleport back, seed. I completely forgot about that, but yeah. It's actually really neat that there's like real proper strategy in this. So yeah. Gonna beat up that tree. Heal a bit. Then I'll be invincible and we'll win. So we got the amulet. And we win. It's so weird to have just absolutely no sound, but that's just how the game is. Now I want to see... Alright, we can go to hell next. Save. And we got a lot of candies from winning that. And we have a lot of candies to give to the Swampy Swamp Lady, or the Sorceress Hut, right. Uh, we still... Yeah, we still need to idle. For that, yeah, um... Let's see if I can, in fact. Let me save. I want to see if I can grind. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. We still have a few more major locations to go through. Oh yeah, I, I think I'll run through and make sure I get that unicorn horn then. Uh, I think I will need more invulnerability potions. So I got the... Yeah, you're supposed to use imps for those, but it, it, it you got to be real quick on the draw. Oh, oh, and it was the unicorns, but whatever. I didn't have the invulnerability potions. Yeah, let's just reload. Isn't this... Wait, this isn't Final Fantasy VI. Isn't this the um, dino theme in Chrono Trigger? Uh, maybe it just sounded like it for a bit. See, so the amulet, an old amulet found on the corpse of a dead warrior is known to bring prosperity to its owner. It will multiply... It multiplies by three your candy production. See, that's very important. Look how fast we're getting candies now. So yeah, and we also got Cauldron, the Magician's Hat. I think that just gets you... lets you get more magic spells. Pink Ring of Homeless, we already saw that. Oh yeah, it, Yeah, I was recording when I got that, yeah. Yeah. For a brief period, candies were way cheaper than lollipops, but now we already have more lollipops we know what to do with. Um, buy an escape potion. I don't think that- actually, escape potions don't seem to let you keep your crap, so I don't think they're actually as great as I thought they were. I think I need to buy a bunch more invulnerability potions and grind the castle bit, because I want to get- I think I can get the unicorn horn as well. Um... At least I'm pretty sure. Let me see if there's- I've already beaten this game, don't really feel too bad looking up a walkthrough. Um, this is, the wiki I'm using is just Candybox wiki. If you just Google, you'll probably find it. It shows you the full inventory and stuff. I do recommend playing without it on your own, but... Yeah, it's a different slot. Yeah, I was wondering if it was like... Oh, and there's actually slightly slight randomness in the ASCII art gener stuff that generated, so like... Um... Like, what tops your hat is random, and this, the flourish on this thing can be a little bit different. Alright, but yeah, tune in next time for more Candy Box.